Hi, Mark here. In this video, I'll show you how to adjust the blade on this Craftsman 10-inch bandsaw so that it will be perpendicular to the table and stay that way. Now, if you own a Jet or a Recon 10-inch bandsaw, don't run off. This tip is for you, too. There are many reasons why you want your blade to be perpendicular to the table, not the least of which is so that you don't have to adjust the blade guides every time you raise or lower the guide post. Okay, let's get started. First, make sure your bandsaw is on a level tool stand. Level this way and level this way. Second, make sure your bandsaw table is level. The table is only adjustable in this direction, which is why the tool stand must be level both ways. Finally, make sure that the blade is under tension then check to see if it's perpendicular to the table. It's probably not, and that's why I made this video. If the center of your upper wheel is directly above the center of your lower wheel, then the blade will be perpendicular, that is 90 degrees, to the table. If neither wheel could move sideways, you'd be good. The lower wheel is mounted solidly to the frame, so it's all right but the upper wheel is mounted more loosely and it can move sideways and when it does it changes the angle of the blade. The trick then is to minimize or eliminate that sideways movement. Let's take a closer look at that upper mounting bracket. Okay I've removed the upper wheel. You can see that it's mounted in this piece which is loosely suspended from this tensioning bracket. It hangs from this shaft. Notice the sideways play in this piece. It's about 3 seconds of an inch. Way too much. We have to eliminate that play. We do that using shims. We can shim the left side, the right side, or both sides. In this case, I need to shim both sides to properly align my blade. I made my shims out of a couple of large paper clips. I put them in this way. I get that hook going right there, bring it up, drop the paper clip over the shaft, and that hook keeps it from coming out and getting into the wheel. Now I'll come around to the other side, and we'll put the one in on the right. We'll slide this over to make room, put that hook in again, bring it up, drop it over the shaft. Now with both shims in place, we can see that we have eliminated sideways movement. That means my blade should be in perfect alignment and be able to hold that alignment. All right, here's an old woodworker's trick to prove that the bandsaw blade is perpendicular to the table. Watch. When the cut you've made will ride the back of the blade like that, that blade is perpendicular to the table. There you have it. 